Hello and uh, welcome to MS DOS Game Reviews, where we play ancient games in an emulator and record the results for posterity. Uh, today we are in 1988 and we are looking at a game called Death Sword. Now it's also known as Barbarian or Barbarian der Machtigste Krieger and Barbarian Lagurier Absolut and whatever else, Battle Sword. So it was released in France, United Kingdom, United States, and it's action. And the theme is barbarian fantasy and fighting and released by Epix. Now, Epix has made a few games, so this is, this is bound to be fun. It's only a 51 kilobyte download, and there's a tiny little description here on my abandoned way. So uh, if you look at the Screenshots you can see it's a CGA only, um, whereas on the Amiga it had beautiful colors. So, um, uh, and, and at this point in time, there was no more excuse for just CGA only graphics. So that was a that's a bit sad. Uh, there's a couple of uh, uh, replies, let's call it that, comments on on this game, and then. On the download section, you can see you can download the original 51 kilobytes. And then there's a Quaders release, which is 46 megabytes. So, of course, being being that different, I went for the Quaders release just to see what that was about. So, uh, but let's, let's go there. So, when you download the Quaders release, you extract it and you get this. I've added this docsboss x.conf and this mapper. And then you can see there's a couple of images in the background from people in skimpy clothes. It comes with a manual. And uh, I've, I've read through it. There's, there's not much in the manual. Uh, again, death sword. And uh, mean looking guy the sword um, tells you how to load the game tells you uh, should use a joystick and uh, joystick controls and a bit of a scoring and then special keys for the other types of games and then it tells you about epics the games so there's a uh, winter edition and summer edition of epics so they they plug their own results there um, I managed to find the keys. Let me just get them nice and big there. So these are the normal keys you'd use in the game, and then you'd hold down shift, and you then have the attacks. What's really strange is the move right and left is JK, which is right next to each other, and the other ones are arranged in a in a, in a wider pattern. So uh, what I've done on on my game i've remapped them to the numpad and uh, then for for my play i'm using numpad to play so that's that there's some posters that came with the game so there's a a guy with a sword again i guess uh, another little poster you might want to stick up on your wall if you're an impressionable kid so uh, not not too bad Again, the two guys are very, very fleshy, barbaric, obviously, uh, uh, type thing. And then uh, there's also a sound directory, which has three MP3s, and this is where the size comes in, 12 megabytes each. So, if you downloaded the Quaders release, I'm not going to say this is exactly what you're going to get, but let's, let's throw it open with wine, get a bit of a... So, uh, there we go. Well, press two for EGA and no joysticks. And, uh, and game two. One player. So maybe this thing isn't in the right place. I'm, I'm not sure. And then, of course, there's no remap keys here, so... Yeah. Not a fan. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna... Exit 
exit that one and exit that one. Exit that one as well. So not a fan. Um, music is kind of nice, but loud. Um, but it wasn't part of the game. Now I did see something else here. The, they actually just used the MS DOS colors and remapped them. So still just four colors. When you press two for EGA, you actually using the EGA monitor, but it's still just the four colors of CGA with a different palette applied onto it. So there you go. Oh dear. Where did that go? Something bad happened here. Two, not three, two. And then you can select your number of joysticks and then max out series. And so yeah, that's, that's a bit closer to the original Death Sword. And uh, just the four colors has been a little bit remapped. And uh, game one is two players, game two is one player. And um, this is just a demo, so you can see people beating each other up. Death Sword on the top there, and of course a guy and a semi-naked woman. So, as was the custom, I suppose. Now if you press P, it shows one player. And you can press P again. Now in the other game, if you press P again, it shows you one player, two player. But now it's just one player. So it's either enter, or spacebar, or something. And now, now we can fight. So I'm um, using my shift key. And whoa. I'm not, I'm not very good at this. I have to admit. And my fingers are getting getting tied up in knots here. Oh. Short. Okay, one more. There you go. So, with a bit of practice, of course, uh, you <coughs> you get better at the game. So, this forward rolling thing that doesn't seem to be a uh, a block against that. So you could just bump them out of the way, roll back, and then go attack and attack again. Uh, oh, numlock pauses, of course. Why not? Have it right in between the keys that you might just blindly smash. Oh dear. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hit high, hit low, roll. So, there we go. Um, oh dear. I'm definitely not good at this. Sometimes I get this lucky, lucky headshot. And uh, not today, so getting dragged away there by the uh, little goblin thing. Um, yeah, so Death Sword, uh, definitely a fighting type game. They call it the, the woolly, woolly pants uh, genre. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can just keep on fighting and demo again, press B, B, come on, one player. Not sure which one makes it go away, but yeah, I think it's spacebar. And, and you can fight again. And, oh yeah, that, that move, if it lands, is like a sudden death. Oh, back in and fuck that. Oh, just too far away. Yeah, so I'm uh, obviously not practiced in this game, as you can see. Oh dear. And. Ooh. Yeah. Of course, it's a it's a game of skill, so you get used once once you once you learn the combinations, uh, then of course it gets much much more funner. Uh, 
knocking somebody down doesn't Yeah, so I'm going to call it here and say uh, thank you for watching uh, this tiny little video. Hopefully you've liked it and I uh, hope to see you on the next one. But in the meantime, have a fantastic day and goodbye.